Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Leo Money and Career weekly reading from March 7th to March 13th, 2022. Leos, welcome, welcome. Ooh, Three of Swords. Let's see what energies we have this week. Three of Swords, what is happening, Leo? Welcome to all Leos. Thank you so much for watching. If this is the first time, uh, welcome to Sunday Money and Career Weekly Readings for next week or for this week. Um, sun, beautiful, Three of Cups, Leo. Wow, this is an interesting week. Uh, starting off a little tricky. Uh, let's see what other cards are coming out. Ooh, all right. Wow. Wow. Lots of cards popping out. The Lovers. So welcome everyone. If it's the first time you are watching any of my readings, thank you so much for dropping by on the Sunday, every every Sunday weekly money and career readings. Um, and also if you're interested in monthly readings, if you wanna take a look at those, those are up as well. Uh, the Lovers, two of wands the empress and the hangman lots of cards wanting to come out in this situation i really feel like it's in a situation um leo so either you're leaving your job or the job is leaving you uh maybe unexpectedly but i'm not quite sure because you have beautiful beautiful cards pushing forward leo so this situation here that sort of breaks your heart, so whether you're, it's financial loss or loss of a job or you quit your job, but it's tricky and, you know, you maybe you weren't ready to quit your job. But I feel like when we quit our job, uh, sometimes, sometimes it can happen. We're, you know, it's difficult. We're not always quitting our job and, and freedom and it's all amazing. And sometimes it triggers. Sometimes it's difficult. So whatever the situation is, um, you're opening up to something completely different and something that is really, truly making you happy. So this is very, very liberating. So um, whatever the situation is, if it, it feels heavy on you, pressure on you, and just all, you know, that you are disappointed or hurtful, maybe you're, you know, maybe it's hurtful, maybe it's hurtful because uh, you dragged on a job that you had to finish up, right? Maybe you had a contract, maybe you had to stay a couple extra weeks, days, months, you know, uh, through a contract, or, uh, you, uh, or you had financial loss, loss, sorry, in a project, or you, you know, or, or you were let go of a job unexpectedly, and that's difficult. No matter what the situation is in this negative energy here, you are pushing forward in something completely new. Um, you have the two of wands, the three of wands, uh, opening up to the world, opening up to something different. I feel like you're opening up to a different environment, a different community, working with different people, but you're expanding. So maybe you're moving uh, you may be moving, moving to another country or moving to another city. It doesn't have to be, but it feels like you're certainly opening up to uh, something completely different and you're planning something. You're planning a project. You're planning a trip. You're planning on moving. You're planning the future because you chose a new path or you're choosing a new path. This Three of Swords is... Um, putting you on this new chosen path because you feel like you have to open up to the world. You feel like you, you need to move, you need air, and you need to um, communicate and start working and planning the future on a new project, a new job, a new situation, a new opportunity, whatever it is for you. It's something that certainly makes you really, really happy, aligned with what you want. You may be getting that job you always wanted. Maybe you're getting, uh, um, maybe you're starting that business you always wanted to start. Whatever it is, you're planning. Let me know what you're planning. What? Let me know what you're organizing. You're making decisions and you're, 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 um, organizing yourself and planning to, you know, to move, 
to move and you're opening up and you're seeing and discovering a different world, different people. Wow, that's interesting. And, and then it looks like it's total success on the horizon. So once you, once you get out of this three of swords, this week is a little tricky, right? You have to, you have to deal with whatever you're dealing with that loss or that financial loss or that, that just that feeling of hurt, that hurtful feeling, whatever it is, take it as it resonates in your journey is pushing you forward in success though. So that's wonderful. It is a beautiful reading, even if it starts out a little, a little heavy, right? And um, this, this three of wands is really that success, expanding, planning, uh, but also finding that serenity, uh, that wisdom along with the situation. This situation is pushing you forward in something much more calm, much more relaxing, and finding serenity in this new choice, in this new path. You are celebrating. Maybe you're working with friends. Maybe you're working with family. Maybe you're working with people that you really enjoy working with, that you really connect with on a project, in a job, right? But it's certainly... Um, it, this job or this project or this business or this career, take it as it resonates for you, is something that you thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy. It brings you joy and it's authentically and um, uh, helping you find that not authentically. I don't know why I'm saying that. Um, it's really um, giving you, boosting your confidence, boosting your um, but yes, just that bounce in your step because you have finally connected to that thing you want it to do. And that is, that is pushing towards success. Now, you do have the hangman. So take things in perspective. Take a pause. Take a moment to align. Take a, long, a moment to process. Do not push things. Because if you push things, you're not going to allow them to come in in the proper way. You might skip on something. You might not get this. Or you might have sort of a disconnect. These cards are so beautiful. They're just asking you after this difficult situation to take your time. To really um, uh, take your time in assessing, in understanding, and in understanding what you have to do to prepare what logistics you have, what decisions you have to make, what, you know, are you moving or, you know, what, what is necessary for you to embark on this new journey that is totally, totally, um, that you're totally identifying with the lovers, right? That is authentically, you know, connecting with, um, with this new job, this new situation, this take it as it resonates, and, and you have clarity on this. You really have clarity and you're blooming. It's like you're, 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 comp you're boosting your confidence, but you're also at a moment of calmness and peace. This is really, this, uh, this is where you belong. This is where you belong and it's making you happy and it's successful and you're just blossoming. You are blossoming, Leo. So take the three of swords of that uh, as a bouncing board right to your new trajectory to your new found happy place because it really is this job this project this career is your happy place uh, and it can be something creative but it it demands a lot of organizations a lot of decisions how are you going to do this you know uh you know understanding you have to plan it out strategize plan it out and do you know make all the decisions accordingly to make it happen but it's opening up to the world it's really opening up your horizons and and but in a peaceful way in a peaceful way let it come in let it uh, let it sink in and let it come in, right? Do not rush it. Do not push it forward. Don't force it. Just surrender. Surrender to this three of swords first and um, surrender to this opportunity because this three of swords is really that opportunity to pause and, and, and really uh, have that chance to sort of reassess and evaluate where you are to push on this new path, right? Um, 
seeing it for what it is and sort of almost like making a list of what you have to do before rushing, 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 right? It's so new, so emerging, such a new energy that, you know, if you're, if you don't, if you rush it, it's, it, you're not going to be able to see it. You're not going to be able to allow that time and space for it to come in in the proper way, right? So wait for it to come in and, and just pause and surrender after this. Th take your time. Just take your time. And take your time away from routine a little bit, right? Take a breather. Take a breather because this whole thing is brand new. And the Empress, you understand, you know, you know this is it. The, you know this is for you. She is, and it can be artistic, but you're, you're really in a period of growth. You are moving up, bossing up. This is something new and you're growing, you're expanding. And everything you planted before, maybe this is something you wanted to do a while ago. Maybe this is something you connected with a while ago, planting seeds, meeting people, even, even maybe years ago, right? Something maybe you, 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 you wanted to do, but sort of disconnected with the world situation. Now it's sort of re-emerging. So take a moment to reflect on everything that surrounds you, because this, this is pretty amazing. And, um, you're, you're entering a different frame of mind. You're entering a growth period that is making you discover a whole new world, making you connect with completely different people. And this is a whole new energy. This is a whole new being you are, right? And, and as you um, create, um, and ha as you have created everything here, this is you. You have made this happen. You are creating this. The, you are the builder. You are the emerger, right? You can continue to build on this energy. You can continue to create even more in your life. This is just pushing you forward to uh, in a different dimension, right? But allow yourself the time and space to enter this different zone. Wow. This is a big week for you, Leo. Very big week. Transition, not easy. But once you transition, once you realize that you're making this happen, yes, again, the Three of Swords. So this is a tricky situation, but you're getting out of it with absolutely beautiful, beautiful, successful energy. So push forward, but, but take your time. Take your time to breathe. Take your time to assess and take your time to see this different perspective to allow this new energy to come in these new people this new opportunity this new thing that you're aligning yourself with but you're truly genuinely connecting to this the lovers uh, what you're projecting is what you are manifesting really i'm surprised we don't have the uh um the 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 fool or the magician no the magician um but here we go king of pentacles um this is you leo being financially successful being financially rewarded uh being comfortable with your choices being generous kind loving uh helping others being there for others and th if this is not you leo this can be a taurus virgo capricorn doesn't have to be i don't like to say signs in these money and career but it can be someone around you a boss a mentor a father figure someone with a lot of responsibility someone with a career someone financially secure, very generous with their time and money that is there to help you, to guide you. So maybe you're working with this person. Maybe they're offering you a job. A job. Maybe they're offering a new opportunity and they're making this happen. After this three of swords. All right, let's see if there's a, there are more cards that want to come out in this situation. Okay. Yes. Wow. All right. So yes, this, ah, you've, you've been working hard on this. Okay. So this is a situation, a project, a job, 
that you've working you've been working hard on so if this is a job you're waiting for you may be applied maybe you went back to school for more skills maybe you're taking classes maybe you had to take tests maybe this is like over and over and over again you had to you had to work you have to you know this is not something that came it looks like it's just sort of by magic but it's not by magic this is something you really worked hard on maybe you had to go out and get a diploma maybe you had to pass a lot of tests to make this happen right uh, you know just like that really really applying yourself um um uh showing your skills very talented at what you do but really had to show over and over again that you're the person that you know how to do this that you're 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 stepping up to the plate and you're the person for the job for the opportunity for the project for the business for this career whatever it is right um yes that equal give and take six of pentacles understanding that this is this is something for you and at, there is, I feel like there's a lot of generosity around you because you have, you know, the King of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles. That is a lot of generosity, people helping, people guiding, but also people being generous with, with their money. Uh, so is it someone lending you money for this opportunity? It is possible. Um, uh, Six of Pentacles is that, you know, sharing, caring. Um, helping out others, being generous. So maybe this is a project about helping others. You do have the Empress and the Empress can be something very creative, but can also be something uh, a very um, charitable or helping others, emotionally available, emotionally there for others, a lot of empathy, uh, understanding others, listening to others. So you can be in uh, a job, a project, a career, uh, helping others, mentor, nurse, doctor, therapist, uh, social worker, social, you know, someone guiding other people, someone helping other people can be in any, in any way, shape or form, right? It is really being there, that generosity and time and money and, and in emotion, uh, being there for others. It's really beautiful, really beautiful. Let me know what you're up to. Four of Pentacles, um, really um, protecting oneself. You're not showing too much your emotions. You are, you are um, keeping control, keeping control of the situation, keeping keeping control of what you're saying, what you're doing. You don't want to show people what's going on. If there's that Three of Swords, you're dealing with it on your own. You're not showing the world. You're not sharing this. You will, uh, you will deal with it on your own and then move on to this new path. You've also saved your money and you are, you're, you're really in control of the situation. And I don't think you care to share this situation. I don't think these two situations are related, but you're going to have to let go of the three of swords before you enter and embark on this new beautiful path. Ace of wands. There's the ace. I was waiting for an ace or something, that beginning, right? That beginning, that dynamic beginning, beginning of creation, of intuition, of action, that new, new beginning of whatever it is for you. Being there for others or creating for others. It is very emotional. But the, the Ace of Wands is about the beginning and the dynamics of a creative situation. Creating, the start. Very, very, very interesting reading. And I do have this little card that was in the deck um, reverse. So I'm just going to put it here. Yeah, you're, you're defending yourself, defending your space. Um, uh, uh, really ha on the defense mode because of that situation. Had to protect yourself. You're in control, protecting yourself and not, not really revealing, you know, making sure people respect your boundaries your space whatever the situation was whether it is a conflictual one or just financial one or financial loss or both it is something you are dealing with by yourself and want to be protective of yourself and just um you don't want anybody you're not allowing anybody to enter that space wow interesting reading this week <laughs> Uh, let's see if there's one last message for the road in this new 
an interesting, very interesting um, beginning here. Yeah, take your time. All right, so that is double, double the hangman, take your time. Allow this to come in. Do not rush this. Don't rush. Don't rush. Um, deal with this first. Deal with the situation you have with this first. Allow to process. Take your time. Um, protect yourself on there if you have to negotiate out or if you have to, you know, finish the uh, uh, a contract at a job. If it's the end, the tail end, and it's difficult, allow it to process and then move on to this beautiful, beautiful new path, but try not to drag on, Can, you know, really protect yourself, protect yourself and move on to this beautiful path. Wow. That is one amazing reading, uh, Leo. Thank you so much for watching. Again, monthlies are up if you want to take a look at those for the month of March and money and career. Uh, if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit the bell. That's very important if you enjoy these readings. I will see you back on Sunday for another money and career for the following week. Uh, every Sunday, let me know if you enjoy these readings and let me know if you would like me to continue these readings. Thank you so much for watching, Leo. Take care. Bye-bye.